Hey there, welcome to another Tableau video. I'm going to show you a few more quick table calculations that I use. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, which does moving average and running total, you, this probably led you here, right? This is an extension of that, but by no means you have to watch the other one. Of course, I encourage you do. So here we go. The ones I'm going to show you today is difference. <clears throat> what was the other one? I think it was rank. I can't remember, but I'll see it when I see it. So I'm going to bring in order date right over here. And I'm going to do sales here. So really, really basic data, right? And if I were to remember difference, oh, percent of total. See, I, I knew I knew I was what I was talking about. So difference and percent of total. So I'm going to do this just by year and quarter, right? I'm going to do a bar chart, right? Pretty simple stuff. I'm going to bring... I'm going to do two of these, right? So I'm just going to duplicate the sales. These two are base. These two are exactly the same, right? No difference. But what I'm going to do is show you this second one using QuickTable, and then the top one will just remain as is. Okay, so I've got my labels there. Uh, let's change this format to... Uh, I don't want it with all the decimal places in the thousand. There we go. Just so it's easier for us to do validation. Right, now... The first one I'm going to show you is difference. Difference, what it does is it takes each grouping like this and it figures out what's the difference between these two. And that's the value it shows. So it's really good for showing how, the rate of change or how things are changing from one quarter to the next or one month to the next. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go right click. I'll make the top one actually green just so better for our eyes. Um, I'm going to go here, quick table calculation. I'm going to go difference, right? Then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add that value to the table so you can see. Now, if I take this one and this one and I minus the difference, it is going to be this value right here. That's why you'll notice that in this first one, there's no value because there's no preceding value to this 59,000. Then from this one and this one, you can show that 115 to 146 is 31,000. 146 to 158, so it's a little bit of a change. And then here, when we went to 2016, we had a drop. And what you'll notice actually in this particular data set, let me get my drawing tool out again, there's always a drop in the first quarter, even in 2018. So that's interest that's actually interesting. All right. If I, if I was like working on this business, I'd be interested to know why. Why is it always during that period? And actually we can extend this to month and see what the pattern is. It's always appears to be the first the first of every quarter. How about that? Interesting, huh? Anywho, that's what the difference does. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's do another one. I'm going to get rid of this label because it's going to confuse us. I'm going to clear this. Then I'm going to go again, quick table. And the other one I'm going to do is percent of total. Right? And you'll see that this doesn't change because of the kind of how the scaling works. So what I'm going to do, actually, we'll add this in there. Uh, we're going to change this format to be automatic, right? So it's going to be percentage. And let's make it, yeah, that'll do, right? And I'm going to go color, right? Let's go entire view. And basically what this is saying is, if this is 100%, right, how much does each one of these account for, okay? So in this case, this counts for 11%, right, the highest. But let's say I just wanted to see it in each grouping right so i can go in here i can go edit right and i can just go pain for example oh not pain down no not down where am i going pain that's the one okay and the reason and this is a common mistake it looks like the numbers are low but if you look on the scale right they're not actually matching because you have to get rid of this one and put your new quick table calculation in. Okay, though that's the correct one. So be careful of that. Um, that can screw you up pretty bad. So instead of doing the percentage of this as a whole, right, it's now doing this as a whole. So it's saying that for 2015, what was the separation? Okay. And you can kind of tell from this one already just how big this is. But the difference is with using percentage, it's much easier to compare. For example, this 158 
and this 59, you can probably say oh, it's a third, but you kind of have to think about it. Whereas with percentage, you go, oh, this is roughly 10%, this is 30. Okay, therefore, three times larger. You know, so it's, it's, it's a lot easier when you work with percentages. Okay, so let's do that one. Let's see what other ones we can do. I'll probably show you rank and then we'll finish up. Rank, all that does is it ranks them from highest to lowest. Or lowest to highest, sorry. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Okay, now if I bring this rank into labels, okay, let's change this formatting again to just automatic. You notice that it ranks lowest to highest. Okay, so if I get rid of this, um, if I change this to this quarter and get rid of that, and I order this by highest to lowest, which I can't, I should be able to, why can't I? Maybe it's this thing I have to get rid of. Oh, you can't order. Oh, I think it's because this is um, discrete. There we go. All right. No, you can't. I think it's the show as context. All right. In any case, I thought you could sort that. In any case, it ranks it from lowest to highest. And there's a number of applications you can use this for right to actually control again how your data moves how it's ordered how it's ranked and all that okay so we'll probably end it there i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time